Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the Hot Wheels Mama Sim. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are new subscriber, welcome. If you have not already done so, please go ahead and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I upload new videos. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about cerebral palsy because I myself have cerebral palsy. And I want to help those who have disabilities understand just because you have disabilities doesn't mean you can't live a productive life because you absolutely can. You just have to set your mind to whatever it is you're trying to achieve and you can achieve those goals. So what? You need help. It doesn't mean that you're weak or anything like that. And I want to help those who don't have disabilities understand what it's like for an individual such as myself to live with cerebral palsy. Now, I do want you to know that there is no judgment on my part if you leave a comment. I don't judge people. Never have, never will. So if you have a question for me, please feel free to answer or leave a comment and I will answer your question now with that being said let's get in with today's video today's video is titled when was I diagnosed with cerebral palsy or CP known as cerebral palsy I just shortened it because it's a lot easier instead of spelling it out. Um, I wasn't diagnosed with cerebral palsy until I was two years old. My parents knew that there was something wrong, but the doctors couldn't find it until I was two years old. I was literally diagnosed with it when I was two years old. We tried using a walker, but due to the way my right hand is, I couldn't grip um, the walker handle, right? So we tried tying my hand to the walker. We, try, we tried everything, and it didn't work. It's not that I gave up, because I'm not a quitter. We tried everything, and I looked at my mom, and I said, there's no reason for me to do this because I'm just going to fail at it and I already feel like a failure so we basically used the wheelchair and I forget how old I was when I first got my electric wheelchair but I do remember that it was a, ba a battery pack that we took off my manual chair so my parent so my mom could push it. Every time we had to go somewhere we had to load this thing in the car because we could take it off the wheels and load it into the car. Which they don't make wheelchairs like that anymore. Um they just make it so you can't fit the electric wheelchairs in a car you literally have to use a van or um use a lift and I can't get a van with a lift in it because I don't qualify for it which really stinks but yeah I was diagnosed with CP when I was two years old and I, rem I don't remember having open heart surgery but I do remember people telling me about it I was two weeks old when I had open heart surgery I have I don't know if I still have it now but I had a heart murmur 
and that's why they did open heart surgery when I was two years old. And I had 17 surgeries already. Because once I get one body part fixed, you got to get the other body part fixed. And that really stinks to keep on going in for surgery to get one body part fixed and then something else goes wrong and you gotta get another part fixed so so what I do is I weigh it out is it important for me to get it fixed or can I wait on it and usually I can wait on it because I do not absolutely do not like surgeries at all. I hate them with a passion. I always have. I hate going under the knife. And that's just because the way that I feel. You know? I can't. tell you how rough it is on my body to keep on going through these surgeries so I just wait wait it out is it important enough for me to get the surgery away right away or can I wait and usually I can wait 90% of the time I can wait so I just wait until it gets bad enough for me to get the surgery because I absolutely hate the surgeries. Now, I'm not telling you guys you need to do that. Absolutely not am I telling you. I'm just telling you from my experience how I feel. Always, always consult your doctor about going back and forth to get your surgeries. Don't do what I do. Um, yeah, again, guys, I'm just telling you from my experience. Please do not do what I do. I am going to in this video here, I have two more videos today, but before you watch the next video, I recommend you watch this video. And the next video that is coming up is another makeup tutorial just because I feel like doing my makeup today so that will be a another makeup tutorial that I do today or I might do a Q&A I don't know we will see what happens but I might talk about my doctors today. I have no clue what is going to happen for the second video. We will see. I appreciate you guys coming in to watch my videos each and every day. I thank you guys for allowing me to come in your home each and every day um, for me to tell you my story. It's not easy for me to share, but I got to get out of my comfort zone. So I'm going to end this video here today. 
But before I do that, I want to remind you to go ahead and subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss when I upload new videos. And as I always say, never say you can't. Always say you can. And try your best each and every day. Bye guys, I will see you later.